Hello, everyone. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. Thanks. These are busy days, right? Yes. What are you doing lately? I am drawing and painting with my sister lately. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reading a book called Macbeth. Uh, fantastic. I have changed my routine since our semester is about to end and I am planning to spend more time outdoors. Do you have any uh, routine activities you can suggest me? Uh, I love playing football. I go to park near the lake. Great ideas. Did you know that we can use frequency adverbs to signify how often we do these activities? Let's look at them. Always is 100%. This means it happens all the time. Usually. Generally. Often. Sometimes is 50%. Occasionally. Seldom. Hardly ever or rarely. And never, lastly, it is, means it happens not any time. Okay, let's look at some examples. I always brush my teeth every morning. My friend never smokes. We sometimes go to a fancy restaurant after work. And my brother sees seldom his friends because he is married now. Okay, Mirai, what do you usually do every Friday? I usually visit my sister every Friday. Oh, when do you have dinner? We often have dinner at 7. Hmm. When do you go to bed? I often go to bed at 12. Um, okay, Ece, how often do you read a book? I read rarely. Why is that? Don't you have time for reading? Actually, I have after dinner. Hmm, when do you have dinner? We have dinner at 8 o'clock. Um, so, why don't you start a habit then? You can read a book, a book for an hour after dinner. I will try. Now, uh, we have a listen and watch activity. You are going to watch a video which is about a businesswoman's daily routine. After that, uh, you are going to enter a Kahoot pin to answer some questions. If there is something you don't understand, you may ask to replay the video, but you can only watch twice. Daily routines. Maria Sanchez is a sales representative for a big company. She wakes up every morning at 6.30 and takes a shower. At seven o'clock, she has breakfast with her husband. They usually eat eggs and drink coffee. Maria goes to work at 7.45 and starts work at 8.30. She usually has meetings with her customers all morning and is very busy. At 12 o'clock, she has her lunch. Sometimes she eats in her office and sometimes she eats at a cafe. At five o'clock, Maria goes home. She walks home if the weather is nice. If the weather is bad, she catches the bus. At eight o'clock, she has dinner with her husband and then they watch TV together. They like to watch funny shows on TV. At 11 o'clock, Maria often goes to bed. Okay, everyone, now please enter the pin. Uh, we are going to start now. Please read the choices carefully.
<clears throat> and our winner is Edim. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you can see the whole paragraph on your screen. I want you to read it. You have five minutes. If you finish early, you can read it twice because you won't be able to read it while you are answering. Your time is up. Now I want you to click the link below. You are going to answer some questions about the paragraph. You have 10 minutes. Okay, let's look at your answers. Um, when does she wake up? Yes, she wakes up at 6.30. Does she take a shower every morning? Yes, she does. What does she do at 7 o'clock? She has breakfast with her husband. When does she go to work? Mm, Mirai, she goes to work at 7.45, okay? Okay. You have mistaken, I think. That's okay. Uh, what does she do at work? She usually has meetings with her customers. How often does she have lunch at cafe? She sometimes has lunch at cafe. When does she go home? She goes home at 5 o'clock. Yes. Uh, does she eat dinner alone? Um, Ece, she has dinner with her husband. They eat together. She's not alone. Okay, uh, what does she do after dinner? They watch TV together, yes. When does she go to bed? She goes to bed at 11 o'clock. Thank you guys for your answers. Now we have another activity. As you can see, it's a timetable. You are going to fill this timetable according to your own daily routine. You can uh, get help from the paragraph. Also, you are free to ask me if there is something you don't understand. Okay, you have 10 minutes, uh, good luck. I hope you have finished. I yes. want you to be pairs. Uh, as, you know, as your number is 20, I believe uh, everyone can find a mate. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to send your timetables to your friends and uh, read them carefully, okay? Now, I will send you to rooms. There will be two groups. And you are going to ask them about their friends' uh, daily routine. For example, uh, Mirai and Emir is one group. Ece and Esra is one group. And Ece is going to ask Mirai about Emir's daily routine. You can ask, uh, you can look at the timetables. Uh, but if possible, please don't look at them. Uh, you have 15 minutes. Have fun. Okay, Mirai. Does, uh, when does Emir wake up? He wakes up at 8. Does he have breakfast? No, he doesn't have. But he eats bagels in the canteen at 11. Ece, when does Esra have dinner? She has dinner at 7. When does she go to bed? She often goes to bed at 12. Okay, did you have fun? Did you have any struggle? It was hard to remember afternoon. We have similar things. Yes, you are right. You have similar activities until afternoon, but when you get home, everyone's daily routine is different. Uh, do you have any questions, by the way? No. Great, then. Here's your homework. I want you to ask your best friend about their daily routines. Uh, write it on a timetable and uh, please use frequency adverbs so that we can understand how often do they these activities uh, here's a uh, for example here's a few example for you uh, how often do you go to gym what uh, when do you have lunch and how often do you meet with your friends these are few examples again please add more and we are going to listen to your homework uh, have a nice day. See you next week then. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.